Yeah, back in the lab, man. Hey, um, yeah, man, I'm watching this whole podcast, uh, Manosphere, Red Pill. I'm watching this shit fall apart, and I will tell you, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. No, I'm not surprised. I seen this coming. Pause. I knew that the red pill and the manosphere was going to get to this stage. I knew it. I'm not saying I'm the first person to know it, but I knew it because the red pill, the, the manosphere, you know, men going their own way, MGTOW, was not supposed to be commercialized. It was supposed to be commercial commercialized, but it wasn't supposed to be commercialized. That was supposed to be men's locker room talk. That's what that was. That was made for men to talk amongst each other about how to deal with women. Because, you know, we at the point in time now where as a man, you got to know how women think. You got to know how women operate. It's not as cut and dry as it used to be. We're in what we call late stage capitalism. If you read the book called Sex and Culture, it talks about the more wealthy and dominant a civilization becomes, the weaker the men get. And when a society peaks, after society peaks, one of the telltale signs of a declining society is that the women become liberal. The women become free. The women become sexually loose. The women become more like harlots. You know what I'm saying? Like the women become sexually liberated. And what happens is women are fucking everybody. Women just be fucking for fun. So the men are fucking, you know, there's no sexual discipline because when a civilization is working towards its way up, when a civilization is on the grind, sex isn't as open. The women aren't as you know, out there and the men aren't as weak because they're using their sexual energy to try to build a better civilization. But once the civilization gets to where it wants to be or where it needs to be, and once it peaks, it declines because everybody fucking and, you know, the women fucking, the men fucking. And that energy that was used to build is now used for its own pleasure. And that leads to the collapse of most civilizations. I think they studied like Babylon, Rome, I forget, but it studied like eight different countries and pretty much was like, once civilization peaks, it starts to go down because sex is viewed as something done for fun. Like people are just fucking for fun. You know what I'm saying? And uh, what happens is, you know, once men start fucking for fun and women just become loose, then it kind of makes the fall of a society inevitable because there's no more focus. You know, when a man not fucking, he's focused. He's saving his sperm. He's saving his sexual energy so that way he can build. Once a man doesn't save his sexual energy, once a man decides that he wants to just fuck and fuck and fuck, then he's not focused and he's draining and depleting his life force. So, I said all that to say, that's why the red pill, and that's why, like, these podcasts were necessary. You know, that's why Kevin Samuels was necessary. It didn't start with Kevin Samuels, but he took it to a popular level. Kevin Samuels got a lot of his, a lot of his talking points from Alan Roger Carey and Ron Wills. So... That's why I don't really... I, I, I respect his work. Rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. But he didn't start it. He didn't create it. You know, a lot of people are trying to be like Kevin Samuels. They got their little suits on. They're in the camera yelling at women. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that because they're grifting. But, you know, now you see that this red pill shit was a grift. And what grift means is pretty much somebody will come in and make money off of the culture. It's like a, somebody who's grifting is a culture vulture. They they pretty much 
not making money or they're not doing what they say they're doing. They just coming in to make a check and leave. Like, you know, a example of a of, of grifters, uh, you know, shit, uh fresh and fit. You know what I'm saying? Grifters. They they talk about, you know, trying to be alpha males and they talk about understanding women, but if you look at their lives, they get finessed by women, especially fresh. <laughs> He had their pregnancy scared with that with that woman that they said was a 304. And that woman, she's like an Instagram baddie, but she was with them for the money. She was using them. She didn't like them. So how are you going to sit here and have a podcast about women liking you and, and women's behavior and being an alpha male and not being a simp or a beta, but yet you're being used by a, a escort? <laughs> So those people right there, they're, you know, people like them, they're grifters. You know, they just come in to try to make money off the culture. That, that's what grifters are, you know. There's some other ones I can't think of off the top of my head. But they're grifters, bro. And uh, was it Sneeko, guys like that, uh, you know, guys like that. I can't think of too many more. Um, but yeah, man. that The alpha male, red pill, uh, YouTube, the red pill, alpha male, that whole movement is crumbling because come to find out the people that was the most popular was just people that was using people to make money. They didn't really have those experiences with women. They're not good with women. They don't got no gems to drop. Unlike Mr. Jim Jones himself. You know what I'm saying? They don't got no gems to drop. They just want to make money off incels. And they saw a market and they just tapped into the market and got paid. They don't care about your struggles or your successes with women. They just want to get paid. And as a result, their dark truth is coming to light. It's a lot of YouTube dudes out there that <clears throat> I really wasn't a fan of because I could I could tell they was grifting. I could tell they was just doing what they was doing for the money. I could tell. I knew it. I said, these dudes don't know what they're talking about. That's why I don't really call myself a red pill. You know what I'm saying? I don't call myself an alpha male. or I, I don't do that. I don't call myself a... Uh, uh, Whatever they call themselves in the manosphere, I'm I'm just a dude that knows life. You know, I'm understanding how life works. I understand women, I understand men, I understand life, and so I get on here to drop gems. I don't try to get on here and call myself an alpha male or none of that shit. I might call some men alpha or some men beta, but I'm not with that whole manosphere shit. And now I hope that this teaches the youth a lesson. Say, hey man, you really gotta look at somebody's character. You gotta look at how somebody treat people. You gotta look at how they act. You gotta really vet these people, man. Y'all giving all this money to people that don't care about you. They they finessing you. They're not showing you any good tips and tools, and they're not dropping no gems. They're just arguing with women. They're telling you don't be with uh 304s or whatever. And no, man, no, no, no. So I'm glad the Red Pill movement is crumbling because it was genuine at first. I love the Red Pill movement because um, it told you how to deal with women. It told you how to be a man. It told you how to have purpose. It told you how to watch for deceiving women. It, 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 it put you on game, bro. Because a lot of men didn't have a father figure or a father. And if they did have a father figure or a father, their father was a simp. Or the father figure was a, a, a simp. So they didn't really have anybody to like show them the way. They didn't have anybody to like put them on game. And that's what I like about the red pill. But yeah, man, a lot of these dudes that's on YouTube that's trying to tell y'all how to be alpha males and that's trying to tell y'all how to be red pill, they're, they're grifters. They want your money. They're not showing you anything. They just dudes that like to hear themselves talk. They like to argue with women. They like to... They they pretty much they they're simps but they're like aggressive simps you know they're not passive but they they still simps bro they still clueless they they abusive 
they're liars. They just, and y'all are believing them. Y'all are soaking up this game or this knowledge that they have to give you. And it's not even knowledge, bro. It's just some dudes that want to make money off of y'all, bro. They don't care about y'all. What's, what's like that dude that be that, that real big dude that was on the Fresh and Fit panel? The real big dude, the, the white dude with the tattoos that just be yelling at people all day. The, the dude that with the roid rage, like that's that's your manosphere right there. That's the that's the red pill. They just yelling at y'all. They don't care about y'all. I care. I don't really get nothing from this. I just want to help y'all out, and um, you know, I made videos trying to show y'all different strategies and and tips and different uh. You know, different ideas and stuff. I'm trying to help y'all out. You know what I'm saying? I don't do this for the money. I do this to, to help y'all and show y'all that, hey, man, y'all better get some of this game. That's, that's what I do it for.